guys honestly do not know how excited I am because I'm picking up Lexi from the airport in two hours. So Lexi and I have been friends for three or four, wait, it's 2024. So like, I think four years right now, two years ago, almost. Okay, that's not really true, one and a half years ago. Me and Britt went to New York, never edited that video. Okay, my thoughts are going everywhere. <laughs> we went to New York, then we saw Lexi for the first time, and now she's coming over to the Netherlands and she's staying with me for the next week. I'm beyond excited for all the amazing things that we're gonna do, and I wanna take you with me on that ride. I mean, it is a little messy looking, but I have a welcome Lexi with a lot, a lot of Dutch candy. I crocheted her a bag last year, so I have that here. I have a gift card for books because obviously we're gonna go book shopping and take you on that little book shopping trip as well. But now I'm gonna grab my stuff and pick up Lexi and oh my God, I cannot wait to hold her in my arms again and hug her. Is it a video? Yeah. Okay. Cheers! Cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. Delish. Delish. Hi! Hey, look who it is! It's me. Hi. <gasps> We're the problem. It's us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Lexi and I didn't film anything yesterday, no. but we're living in the moment. But we're actually already on our way back to Amsterdam again. Yes! I'm so excited. <laughs> we're going to go to Taylor Swift. Yes. Oh well, yeah. Let's hope that the tickets are. Beautiful Amsterdam. Just garbage trucks. <laughs> I um, have lived here for the past 10 years. Um, <laughs> no, okay, in all seriousness, we are, can I say? I think we can because yeah. the video will be uploaded after. Yeah. So we're at the Hoxton Hotel in Amsterdam. Look at this stunning room. Oh my gosh. Also, did you see that this is a mirror? Ooh. Like so colorful. Fancy. So nice. Also, I'm wearing a Canadian tuxedo today. This is her beautiful big bed. I love that this room has like such high ceilings. Like, <gasps> it feels super spacious, doesn't it? Stunning. Stunning. She beautiful. And then let me give you a little little tour of the view, I guess. Look <gasps> the view. Dun, dun, dun. The view is absolutely amazing. So canal view. Yeah, so that's the stunning view. And then we also have like another beautiful window over here. It's so pretty and so light. Yeah, <laughs> cute. I guess a little workstation over here that we've already bombarded with our stuff. Gorgeous. Little TV. Little TV moment. Mm -hmm. And the bathroom is so nice. <gasps> I love it. And that's me! <laughs> <laughs> So rain shower. Feel the rain on your skin as Feel the rain on your skin. Shit in a bit. Oh, that's a. I'm so glad you're thinking of that. <laughs> that was the hotel room, the hotel tour. That was it. That was beautiful. I beautiful. loved it so much. Yes. Good job. <laughs> okay, so Lexi and I are gonna hang out at the lobby for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then it's book shopping time in Amsterdam. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show Lexi the three most famous, beautiful bookstores here in Amsterdam. So we'll take you with us. Perfect. And then we're gonna make ourselves ready for the Taylor Swift concert. Hey! Oh my God. How, how do we feel about today so far, Lexi? So far, it's been great. Uh, uh, it's one big adventure after another. Oh my you know god, I mean? yeah. Um, we had a lot of stress. We had some struggles regarding the Taylor Swift ticket, but they, <laughs> they confirmed with us that it should be legit. So if we don't get in, like, I don't know. Yeah, but we will because they confirmed. Yeah. They confirmed, sure. so we will sue them if, uh, if <laughs> not. But we are going to try and. Yeah, American Book Center for this American lady. Hi. <laughs> Hi, she's American. Happy Fourth of July. I happy. Oh yeah, Happy Fourth of July. But we're gonna stress. I don't know if we're gonna stress shop, but we're definitely just gonna browse. <laughs> and this is not even the best part. What do you think of Um, museum bums and cheek. Look at butts and art. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, definitely like four times to the gym. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, per I mean, week. He just squats. She yeah. Does hit oh, absolutely. <laughs> Diva over here. Oh my god, how are you feeling? I'm so excited. Relief from all the fucking <laughs> stress. It was kind of stressful, but we got in, and that's the point. Ooh, show them your bracelets and the. Woohoo! We have like front row seats, so. Oh, well, technically, second row. All rows. Yeah, there's one more. But almost front rows. It's gonna be amazing. So excited. a little savory and then a little sweet. We got like, oh, you see the 13 on my hand. We got bread, <laughs> sourdough, white bread with chicken thigh, onion compote, sun-dried tomatoes, and then we got a little breakfast dessert, like a scone with cotton cream, yeah. chocolate croissant, and there is a pastel de nata in the back. <laughs> okay, see it? Yeah, pastel de nata, which is a Portuguese egg custard situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instagrammer, a YouTube, a YouTuber in the wild. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's the third, second full day oh in the Netherlands. Oh my god, yeah, it's Wait, going so fast. It is going so fast. Oh, oh no. My camera <laughs> is a little dirty. Yesterday was Taylor Swift day. Mm -hmm. Today is tattoo day. I'm nervous. I am not yet. I'm mostly very excited. And now we're at Scheltema, which is one of the biggest I think one of the biggest Dutch bookstores, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bookstore here in Amsterdam and they have like a huge English section. It's and stunning. I feel like you, yeah, you had to experience the shopper. And plus, Leora from Leora Eileen, she sells her stuff in this bookstore. So we're so gonna yeah. try and find her. Yeah. Water stones, baby. <laughs> Yay. And we're not in the UK. We are in the Netherlands, in fact. <laughs> at the water stones right now third bookshop in amsterdam like she's gonna film for me oh that's a good thumbnail we actually both got a book at scheltema i'll show you mine first and then lexi can show you yes. hers as well as you all know i haven't been reading that much but um i keep on buying books <laughs> <laughs> which is fine i guess and the books that have been able to get me semi out of my reading slump are all romance novels with a little bit of like a psychological edge to them is that mm -hmm. how you say it yeah um so like abby jimenez emily henry talia hibbert and a lot of people who know my reading taste have been recommending me an ashley poston book and i Ooh. do know that they haven't been recommending me this one because it just came out but it's a novel novel that's a difficult word to pronounce a it novel is. love story and it's about a main character who loves a good love story but she doesn't have a lot of luck herself but she finds herself in the town of her favorite romance series like everything is perfect except for the like grumpy bookshop owner also really sexy. Sexy. <laughs> okay so i'm very curious plus i love the whole cover design so yeah that's my pick so i'm gonna fine. take over okay. and then lexi will show you what she bought so oh. i got this one what is this the book of doors and it looks so good it's a fantasy it has a really high rating on goodreads mm -hmm. and it's about every time i try to say this synopsis i'm like what <laughs> turns around i know it's about an author who gets gifted a dangerous book and the book has doors or something or like 
opens up every opens door. Opens up every door, and you shouldn't open up every door. Yeah, don't so. take all the opportunities, you know? <laughs> yeah, so anyways. The cover looks amazing. It does. So I want Lexi to read it and review it for me so that I can decide myself if I'm I... I'm excited. I think, I think it'll be really good. Also, how cute is this view? Oh. Are you kidding? It's the view of the golfer's cap, which is like the biggest shopping there. street. Oh, can you see my tattoo? It's a stencil right now, but it's gonna be on my body forever. Lexi, can you show your tattoo? Yeah. Do you see it? I hope so. It it's is very tiny. It's ti I, I think you will. It's tiny and delicate, but yeah. so so pretty. And then we both have so cute tulips. Oh my god. Very well, cute. Like semi matching. We made it back home. We're both tired as. <laughs> Let me put you down. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is there something different about us right now? Well, when I don't we know. Like, when we sit like that, is there something? I don't know. So yeah, Lexi and I got, got wait, oh yeah, you see it. I'm a little confused if it's like more up front, but it's here. <laughs> we got matching tattoos, mm -hmm. semi-matching. Yeah, I would say it's like us, but just different. The different. thing is, I'm short and she's tall. <laughs> The thing is we got it like three hours ago mm -hmm. and we're gonna unwrap it together to see what it looks like without the super shiny cling film. I'm trying to find the beginning of it though. I think I found mine. <laughs> we just, ooh. ooh, it feels nice to- Get some yeah. air on your skin. Yeah. So it's fine to unwrap it now? Yep. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh. oh, it's sweaty. Do you see how sweaty yeah, my skin is? Mine is too. <laughs> it is so shiny and healthy it's looking so though. It's so pretty. I will zoom in a little bit on our tattoos. So Lexi, why did you why did you put it on this spot? I liked how like my arm curved and then the design curved, so I just feel like it flows really well. Here we go. It is a little red, of course, because we just got it, but I wanted my tulip to be a little bigger <laughs> than mm -hmm. Lexi's. And the leaves are a little different, plus the petals are more curved. Oh my god, they look so cute together. They do. I also just love the detail on yours. It's so pretty. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! Hey, Hi. wait, let me like focus on you. <laughs> it is day three, third full day oh, of Lexi being here. It is going so fast. So today we are actually gonna explore my my hometown, not my hometown, the town that I live in right now. So we're gonna go into Utrecht mm. and it is a Saturday. And on Saturday at Jans Kerkhof, you always have the flower market. And you know, definitely like in honor of our <gasps> tattoos, yeah. like I wanna get tulips because my flowers on my table are also dead. I have two bookstores in mind that I can show you. So we have Bailefels, which is an independent bookstore. It's super tiny and so, so, so cute. So it's a must visit. Mm -hmm. And they also have Savannah Bay, Ooh. which is like an LGBT Q focused Q. bookstore Q. and it's right next to a yarn store. <laughs> so are we gonna go yarn shopping too? Well, <laughs> I, have to, I have to bring back some of my yarn that I didn't use. Perfect. So yeah, we're gonna visit that as well. And explore the city. We're gonna go hopefully to my favorite vegan bakery coffee place, mm -hmm. which is called Klutz. So lots of things on the planning. Although my favorite coffee place so far has been Sabine's. Oh! You're so good at making coffee. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh my God. I mean, also compliments to my what is it? My sage barista. Mm. Uh, don't look. Don't look at the mess. <laughs> don't look at the mess. <laughs> Holding on for dear life with this flower bouquet. <laughs> Just went to Sticks and Cups, which is my yarn store. So I got a new crochet hook because my crochet hook is dead. Now we're gonna go to Savannah Bay, which is like LGBTQ bookstore. Wait, can you say that again? Hello. Oh, very Dutch of you. Is it? Yeah, hello is like, okay. yeah, very Dutch. So we're at my favorite cafe right now. Can you tell them what you chose? Um, yeah, so we got the, well, you got the yes. limoncello. Yeah, limoncello strawberry. Mm -hmm. And then I got the berry, like, Berry crumble, crumble situation. Mm -hmm. Ice lattes. You decide which one you will taste us first. I want to try yours, because uh -huh. the, the frosting is really good. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Good. Okay, yeah. I should have gotten that. That was so good. <laughs> and then we're gonna try this one next. Mm -hmm. This one looks really good too, though. <gasps> Look at it. Ooh. Mm. A bit more tart, it. probably, I'm gonna mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. They're a good balance. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. nice. I would say 10. Mm -hmm. And I would say 8.5. Ooh. Very good. Amazing. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. So it's day four of Lexi being in the Netherlands. And we're here with Britt and Leora and Michelle. And we're going to have a little brunch together at the Hotel New York, which is like was it famous for was it the first skyscraper of the Netherlands or like and I think it was also because of the Holland North America American yeah lines. yeah, like yeah. the ships because yeah. it's here in the big Rotterdam Harbor I'm excited it's very pretty and then we're gonna go hopefully by the water cab and then we're gonna go to the city center and do some book shopping yeah. wasn't there an accident recently with the water taxi no don't talk about that no, 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 sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the water cap so far? I'm so, I love or pre, it. Or pre, pre-water pre cap thoughts. Like one of those TikToks that's like, this is me before, before the water cap. <laughs> I feel like a proud mom. I feel like a proud mom. <laughs> <laughs> Having the time of my your life, life. <laughs> you've never <laughs> felt this way before. <laughs> to Rotterdam. We love the bookstore. So, and it was so nice to see everyone too. Yeah, oh. it was like a whole meetup of everyone coming together, which yeah. was so lovely. A car is incoming, so <laughs> I'll scoot over to the side. So I'm taking Lexi to Dehuis Reinauen, which is a tea house, but it's also like a pancake house. I have never been here, but over the past three years, I've been wanting to get pancakes here. And now that Lexi is here, Hi. I feel like it's a really good excuse. So we're gonna have Dutch pancakes with hopefully a really cute view. I <laughs> Rating of the pancake. 10. 10. Really good. last full day here i know we, we're not going to talk about it yesterday it was efteling day yeah and we had so much fun at the efteling oh, it's like the best God. day of my life yeah it was so good it's such a good how does it compare to u.s theme parks the experience overall i'd say i would say like pretty similar mm -hmm. but i just like this one a lot because it felt like like real magic like it felt mm. it felt more authentic somehow i don't know yeah. how i mean all the like illustrations and everything have been done by anton peak i don't know how, how to call it but he has a very romantic style of illustration it really does feel like you are in a fairy tale and then they just like over the past years have added on roller coasters and they have a whole fairy tale forest which is so beautiful it was so fun to go through and like have them told to you kind of like in Dutch but then you get to read like in English and a lot of yeah. other stuff and then Sab like she uh, read it in Dutch too to me which was really cute now we're gonna spend our last full day in Amsterdam while well, we just had a beautiful walk yeah I call this oh, 
Lexi is sad. I am sad. Yeah, I get that. Me too, but like I told Lexi, my sadness will come after she leaves. I'm like more in the moment sad. And, and she's yeah. like more. I'm in reflective. the moment and joy. And then yeah. when you leave, then it'll I'll be like, wow. Okay. Yeah, then I'm more reflective indeed, like you said. Yeah. Then I'll be like, oh my gosh, that was so incredible. Like it's not as if I don't feel it right now. It's just that I realize it more after the person leaves. <laughs> Main activity of the day is Bedazzle, mm -hmm. which is an activity that I saw on TikTok. And I really wanted to take Lexi to this activity. You basically just make your own necklace. So you choose a chain, you choose your own, how do you call those little charms? Yeah, you choose your own little charm. So Lexi and I are gonna pick a charm for each other. And besides that, I think it's just gonna be food, chilling. All my favorite things. Yeah. Yeah. So let's finish the walk and then we'll go to Amsterdam. Yay. Where are we going to, Lexi? We're gonna go make charm stuff! Yeah! Yeah, we're gonna go to the Dazzle, which I've seen on TikTok everywhere. And they do like charm necklaces. <laughs> so you have all of these like drawers that you can like pick charms from, and then based on the charms that you've chosen, you choose a chain, which are all hanging up there. And then you make your own necklace! <laughs> My necklace. It's so cute. I love. Okay, we're trying on some stuff at Europe. I am always obsessed with this store because they have such good basics. But I told Lexi I cannot spend too much clothes on clothes. But since we're going to Taiwan, I need to have a good little jacket. And this one is so thin and really for light rain and stuff. You can pack it. This is a pouch to store the jacket in, which would be so convenient. Lexi, what are you wearing? I'm wearing the necklace that we made together. Oh my god. Okay, so tell me why you made certain choices regarding the charms, okay. actually. So I wanted to theme it, and I thought like having a theme for this trip would be really fun. So we start with this one. This reminds me of the Enchanted song that Taylor Swift sang, and we went to her concert. <laughs> then we have this one. The Ladybug reminds me of Stab. Also because look. Yay. This, I think it's a rose. But I'm pretending it's a tulip yeah, yeah, because yeah. we got tulip like matching tulip tattoos. tattoos. Okay, wait, it's... Oh, this one reminds me of Efteling. And then the last one is like for good luck. Cause like the, the trip I think was oh. very good luck. And then I'll wear mine. Yeah. Okay, so let me, it does not fit the look extremely well right now, but I'm just gonna like put it on. So beautiful though. I just like love the aesthetic that you picked. Yeah, they look really good. So I didn't really have like a theme. I was just like picking out silly ones. So I love the little like videos of people choosing really silly charms and then yeah. just like putting them together. So I got two, which I'd say are my aesthetic because I have tattoos on them. And it's a black one. It has the sun on it. Yep. And I have a tattoo here that yep. has a little sun on it for one of my besties. Yes. <laughs> um, and then I have a lemon one. Is it on this side? Because I have a lemon tattoo that also, I got it from. Also, the theme is the tattoos then maybe. Maybe. I have the the evil eye as well. Is a sign for good luck actually, but it also reminds me of my roommate. Yeah, which also could be with this one. With the evil eye, yeah, because I have a tattoo with my roommate. Yeah, so oh like, my yeah, so they're like kind of symbolic. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I just chose two ones that I just liked for the vibes. What is it, an ace of clovers? Yeah. Because I feel like a clover is also a good sign for good luck. And then yeah. I just got cherries because I think cherries look cute in summary. I so love it. So cute. And put hogs on as well. So that's, <laughs> that's the noise. So cute. Oh, my hair. Okay, let me just like write it down so I don't lose this <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I have been literally just kind of like napping since 7 a.m. and like she's been doing her makeup. I feel like the lighting looks so weird. It's because it's, it's like from it's that like way. half. Wait, hold on, wait. The light. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay, is this better? Yeah. But my hair is <laughs> like so wild. Like she's about to leave in a little bit. Like she's gotta leave, unfortunately. Yeah. We had such a good evening yesterday evening. That was like the perfect way to end the trip. It was yeah, so nice. It was like 
drinks at the hotel. We even got free drinks because of the rain that came into our room. Yeah, that worked out so well. And then they brought us extra drinks that they didn't charge us for. Yeah. Which, like, is so cool. They were like, oh, you gotta try out this drink. So you'll get, like, a shot worth of it. And then you don't have to get the whole drink. But you can still try it. They and were, we're so like, nice. Because of that, I, re- I do feel tired. <laughs> We did, uh, we did have quite a few, actually. It's going to be crazy for you. You're going to be on a plane for, like, 15 hours total. Yeah, for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am going to do a little working day with another friend of mine here yeah. in Amsterdam. Which I think is going to be really nice. Yeah, because I want to edit this vlog as soon as possible <laughs> because I didn't edit my New York vlog. I do still have all the footage. Yeah. So if people like this one. You can see what happened in New York. Oh, yeah, baby. And then I will just probably rest and chill because this trip has been a lot of fun. <laughs> it's been, but it's been yeah, a lot. It's been a lot. Like, yeah. I'm very tired. I'm very happy. Mm. But also, I will be sleeping a lot yeah. when I come home. I feel the exact same way. But thank you, Lexi, for this amazing trip. And it's I'm going to so miss you. But I am 100% sure we will see each other. Yeah. yeah, she has to say that because I dramatically keep saying, this might be the last time. And I'm like, bitch, say. you said that last year, so you're uh, lying. Well, you never know. Yeah, but you never know. If this is the last time we see each other, at least it was a really good trip. Though. Okay, not the last time. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so mad at me. Yeah, because it's not. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, Gotta say goodbye to Lexi. Bye. Bye, Lexi. Bye, Netherlands. Bye. Oh, my God. Bye, Lexi. Bye. Okay, so I packed my bag. I'm ready to go. Wearing my beautiful new charm necklace. Oh my god. Uh, Say goodbye to Lexi. It's just so. It's so weird because this is only like the second time that we have seen each other and it's been a really intense but a really good trip. This week has been amazing but it has also been so surreal and it's been so much to process like Taylor Swift tattoo, we've been to a theme park, one of the best most amazing theme parks. We've eaten so much food together, we went on walks together, we chatted so much, we watched movies. Um, so I'm gonna grab my stuff, I'm gonna check out of the hotel and then I'm gonna go to this place called Uncommon. I haven't been there before but my colleague Noelle, she knows everything about coffee and is a food fanatic just like I am. So I was like, Noelle, I'm in Amsterdam, where do I need to get the best coffee? She said Uncommon and they have a really good breakfast and I am in need. I am in want of an acai bowl. But now I'm gonna be Oh, I'm gonna be Dora the Explorer and travel Amsterdam with a really heavy backpack. <laughs> Bye Amsterdam. Bye Lexi. I'm so sad about that. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello, tell tell the people who you are. I'm Leo. I don't know what else to say about me, but I'm here in the the bathrooms of the co-working space mm-hmm. showing you the beautiful because the past few days it's been very rainy. And oh my now, God. Did yesterday there was this like oh giant storm going. <laughs> Fast forward to two months later. Um <laughs> so the moment that I'm filming this, I'm actually in Taiwan, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. That's for the next one. Looking back at this trip with Lexi. It's just, it's heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. I just miss her whenever I see those videos. It was so special having her over and just the realization that I made fucking friends all over the world through YouTube is just insane. And I'm so thankful for that. And like, see, I am so, so, so thankful for our friendship. I hope that you know that. Big hugs and kisses to you. Okay, so in the end, I'm actually thinking that I bought two books. So I bought the A Novel Love Story, which I obviously don't have with me right now since I am living in Taipei and I didn't want to bring heavy books with me. <laughs> but I think I bought two more books. <gasps> Maybe I do actually have one physical copy with me. I also bought a Korean fiction book. I think it was called, shit, I don't even know the title anymore. Jesus, okay, let me find the title before I struggle so much. So I also bought Welcome to the Hyunandong Bookshop, a book written by Huang Rum. This is a Korean fiction novel and it is about Jongju, who is burnt out with her high-flying career, demanding marriage and busy life in Seoul. She knows she should feel successful, but all she feels is drained. Yet an abandoned dream nags at her and in a leap of faith, she leaves her old life behind. After quitting her job and divorcing her husband, Jongju moves to a small residential neighborhood outside the city where she opens the Hyunandong 
bookshop. For the first few months, all Jungju does is cry, but the long hours in the shop also give her time to mull over what makes a good bookseller and store. As she starts to read hungrily, host author events, and develop her own bookselling philosophy, she eases into her new setting. Surrounded by friends, writers, and the books that connect them all, she finds her new story as the Hyunam Dong bookshop transforms into an inviting space for lost souls to rest, heal, and remember it's never too late to scrap the plot and start again. Like, it, mm, it sounds like a book lover's dream, and all that I've read of the reviews on Goodreads is that every single chapter feels feels like a, a warm cozy hug by the fireplace and me as an overthinker I feel like I will be able to really connect with Jongju's character in this book as well plus Lexi bought it and I wish I don't know if she already finished it but hopefully we can read it together because it sounds cozy and beautiful and life-changing the other book wait let me think where I might have left it because I did bring a book with me I just don't know where I left it Wow. Where the hell? My room is not that big. I'm so confused. Ah, uh, wait. Yes, okay. I haven't even talked about a book that I recently read that I just... I devoured and I loved it. And that is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And oh my god. I have been in a two, one and a half year long reading slump. Especially this year, I have just like read seven books, which is very little for me. Ugh, I don't like it. But like this one, I had it on my TBR for quite some time and I was really unsure of what I wanted to read. Did I want to read another romance novel? Like, no, I wanted to have a bit more fiction, but I also really like apocalyptic kinds of stories. I love The Last of Us. And this one I knew was a bit more like philosophical and not very much on the really apocalyptic violent side. And it was beautiful. I want to share so many more thoughts, but then this video is already like, I don't know, 30 minutes long. But I fell in love with Emily St. John Mandel's way of writing and her train of thought that when I was in one of my favorite bookstores in Breda, which is called Lattes and Literature, it's an English only bookshop. But I told myself if I find the semi new Emily St. John Mandel book, I can get it. And I found Sea of Tranquility. I know that Station Eleven is considered a sci-fi. I disagree with that because the only reason why it could be a sci-fi is because it like takes place in an apocalyptic future. But I feel like Sea of Tranquility is definitely a whole lot more sci-fi because it takes place in three different timelines. Let me just read the back for you because I'm really bad with learning synopsises from the top of my head. Who would you sacrifice to protect the future? Lives separated by time and space have collided and an exiled Englishman a writer trapped far from home and a girl destined to die too young have each glimpsed a world that is not their own. Sounds a bit more sci-fi, huh? Traveling through the centuries between colonies on the moon and an ever-changing earth, together their lives will solve a mystery that will make you question everything you thought you knew to be true. I love this like a little bit of like a speculative like what the fuck is going on in this story. I love that and it's like really short so I will hopefully be able to fly through it. Also, a little fun fact about my bookmark that I have in here. It's a bookmark from South Korea. And I actually, when I was in Amsterdam a couple weeks ago, I was just sitting on the tram and there was this Korean couple who were uh, a little older than me. So I offered them my seat. They didn't want to take it, but I was like, I'm getting off the next one. So I better take my seat. I was standing on the tram. Someone tapped my shoulder and this Korean woman, she gave me this bookmark and she was like, it's from my home country. And now I'm like almost planning my trip to Seoul. But more on that in a different video. Okay, so that was my little book haul. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for being on this trip with me and Lexi. We had so much fun. I am so happy to carry Lexi with me everywhere I go, especially here in Taipei right now. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video in which I will show you my first couple of weeks here in Taipei. Bye.